uh, this is a video to explain you how to make our WordPress website uh, uh, multi language supported website. To make our WordPress website multi language supported, we should use uh, one plugin which is called WPML, which is available as paid onto the market on WPML's website. WPML plugin comes up with 40 languages support so we can add as many languages as we want uh, from the backend uh, to support to our customers. We also can add custom languages in there. Uh, I will uh, tour you through step by step how to install um, WPML and I will show you how we can translate the pages from one language to another language and represent it to the uh, front-end customers and then I will explain the dependencies to use the same plugin with WooCommerce and how to change the prices for different languages. Go and log in into admin panel. I do already have downloaded the zip file for the plugin so I will just go in plugins add new upload upload from my computer and install now uh, plugin install successfully activate plugin so as soon as I activate the plugin there will be one option created here it it, it says WPML so WPML is being created. Here we can add as many languages as we want to support to, uh, to support our customers to see our site's content scene. So if I add one more language, I can add it from here. So for now, there are two languages in our database. Uh, now I will show you how to translate the page and how to represent it to the user. Uh, uh, let me add one new page and I will call it English page. This is English page. Um, and I will just publish this page. So I do have one page. Uh, if I copy this page, um, show in another browser. So this is English page and this is its content. This is, this is front end. If I click here, I should not, I will not be able to see another languages option because I do not have added any translates, translation of other language. So if I add translation of this page into French language from here, how can we add the translation? Two ways. One is that my, my default language is chosen in here and what in what language I want to add the translation there will be flag of the language and I can add from here another is I go in edit and I add from here so I will add it from here uh, I will translate in, in, translate English as French this is a French page and I will publish this so now I go to this page and refresh, then I will be able to see these options in French. So I am able to see the content of French language of the same page. Now I will uh, explain you how we can use WPML with WooCommerce. It is simply we can use uh, WPML with uh, WooCommerce, but for using multiple currency for different languages, different cu currency then we should install one more plugin it is called WooCommerce WPML you can search in internet in WordPress site WooCommerce WPML then it will give you that plugin I do already have uh, downloaded that plugin so I will just go and add new and upload that plugin uh, from here WooCommerce multilingual as soon as I add this plugin and activate it then one more option I will be able to see here WooCommerce the multi, multiple multilingual this option was not available before I installed this plugin so if I go in here it will show me the status of plugin it will show me the dependencies so there are three dependencies that I should install WPML media translation management string translation so I can go in here 
uh, string translation WPML translation translation management and WPML media these three dependencies I need to download and I should activate I should check this to activate after download so I click on it it will automatically start installing Hmm. it is working progress the third one now all the steps are done so I will go on that page and it will show me the products the products which are using multi multi currency if I go in multi currency uh, these are the options that uh, are available uh, by default these, op these options are not available by default it happens like this uh, this this and not this one uh, it, it comes up like this so uh, what uh, uh, why it was displaying here uh, because I added previously that currency before creating this video so uh, if this is the default then how you will see on front end let, let us go to a product um, this is the product um, let us see this product uh, copy on front end. This product shows 65 pound as the price and if uh, you change it to currency uh, uh, if you change it to French then the translation happens like this. For the products translation it is same as pages like if I if I, uh, I do have any, any, any product like small ring if this is a small ring and if I want to uh, copy and if I want to if I go in front end then it will not show me translation because mm, translation is not added from backend I can I, I can add uh, the backend uh, the translation from here for that product add um, small ring uh, French small ring French and small ring French complete translation seven clause so if I do this then this product will be available in here and it shows edit option here so if I go and refresh uh, and it shows French now so this is uh, French language now about pricing it shows 6.99 pound uh, for adding uh, more currency we need to go in multi currency and we need to uh, click on this uh, and we should add uh, euro as the currency in euro as the currency we should add the um, exchange rate I will add 1.16 and sell here the job is not done uh, I change let, let us see what happens in front end here it shows me price in 6.99 and if I change it to euro then it shows me 8.2 one zero in euro okay now for example uh, if I if I want to do this like if a user is seeing the site in English language then it should show 6.99 it should not show this drop-down menu and when the user changes to French then uh, the price should be this uh, 8.10 and in in euro and not this drop down to do so what we should do I'm going to explain this to you to do so we should do this uh, for default currency 
we need to uh, first of all change for English language we should use default as GBP currency and for French language we should use euro as default currency and then after the second thing that we should do is that we should uh, remove uh, the French uh, currency uh, euro currency from when, when, when the site is using English language and we should remove English language when the site is using uh, French language and save changes now let us see magic on the front end so this is French language if I refresh then it shows me 8.19 euro and now drop down if I change it to English language then 6.99 pound and 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 there is no drop down so this is very simple to use please ask me if you have got any queries thank you so much